Welcome to Second Take, the show that focuses on the issues behind the news. Defence industrial group Danel is continuing its financial recovery and has reported a profit for the third consecutive year. Engineering News Senior Deputy Editor Keith Campbell attended the state-owned firm's financial year-end results presentation and joins me now in studio. Keith, welcome to Second Take. Can you briefly take us through the Danel year-end results? Well, yes, they, uh, it was, the, as you said, the third year in succession, they had a profit. Uh, the revenues were up 10%. This was on the basis of a 34% increase in exports uh, because the domestic market remained stagnant. Uh, the net profit uh, for the year, this is financial year 2012-2013, was 71 million rand. That was a 30 million rand improvement over the figure for the previous uh, financial year. They have uh, improved the debt equity ratio from 2.8 to 1.3. So they're pretty happy with the, with the way things are going. Uh, the, the problem child in recent years has been Danel Aerostructures. Uh, that continues to make a loss, but the loss has been very significantly reduced. And with the uh, Airbus Military A400M now ramping up into production in Europe, uh, that situation is likely to change to break even and then profit within the next few years. So the trend is very encouraging. Danel is looking to strengthen its focus on Africa. Can you tell us more? Well, yes, this was a, a, a point stressed by Public Enterprises Minister Malusi Gigaba at the results presentation. Danel falls under the Department of Public Enterprises. The, he stressed that the uh, company was not going to neglect uh, other markets, target markets like the Middle East, uh, Asia, South America. I, I should perhaps point out that the uh, company enjoyed a special success in these in these regions in the previous financial year, hence the 34% increase in exports. Uh, but that they wanted to focus on Africa. Uh, it's an obvious market to look at. So South, South African products are designed and built in Africa. They're suitable for many African conditions. And it also can provide a basis for the development of cooperation with other African countries. Now, it's not necessarily going to be easy. Uh, there will be tough competition out there. But Many South Africans have a very outdated uh, view of Africa. They tend to forget that most African countries are about 50 years since they achieved independence. And so uh, they have been buying defense equipment from many parts of the world for quite some time now. Um, but uh, just because there's competition doesn't mean you don't give it a go because there's competition everywhere. So. Uh, it's uh, uh, emphasis that uh, the minister would like to see and that Danel is pursuing. Gigaba also indicated that the Department of Public Enterprises is seeking a closer relationship between um, Danel Aviation, SAA Technical and South African Express Technical. What is this all about? Well, I asked the minister if they were thinking of merging these and he said uh, no. Uh, but the, well, certainly not at the moment. Uh, you know, nobody can rule out uh, any development in the long term. But his, his focus was on achieving greater synergies between these three entities. They're all aircraft maintenance repair and overhaul organizations. They are all state owned. They all fall under the Department of Enterprises. And they're all based at OR Tambo International Airport. Though Danelle Aviation is on the far side of the airport and SAI Technical and SA Express are on the same side of the airport as the passenger terminals are. But they're all close together. So the, it makes sense to look at uh, achieving uh, uh, cooperation between them. Look, they focus on different types of airplanes. Uh, but there are certain basic skills that are the same. So they could, for example, cooperate in training their people. Uh, training the aircraft technicians, the aircraft mechanics, and so on. So there could be a consolidated training program. 
uh, one could perhaps even foresee the possibility of, uh, this is me speaking, not the minister, uh, of people being able to move uh, between the different companies as their careers progress. If um, SA uh, Express technical needs more avionics technicians and Denali Aviation finds itself the surplus, perhaps it would be possible for people to be moved from the one to the other without necessarily going through complicated retrenchment and recruitment processes. So there's lots of uh, potential for cooperation uh, between these three entities, uh, even if it doesn't come down to coordinating the types of aircraft they work on. Because as they say, at the present moment, the areas uh, largely do not overlap. Uh, the Nell Aviation does do some civilian airliner maintenance repair and overhaul work, um, but this generally is distinct from what SA Express does and what SAA Technical do. Keith, thank you very much. That is the Second Take Show for this week. Thank you for watching and join us again next time for more news analysis.